What's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Car Talk. Normally, I'd be filling these car, car talks as I'm driving to the Banya, but ain't nobody going to the Banya these days. So I came by my local coffee shop here at Turnstile, who has been featured on the news for completely overhauling their brick and mortar structure to allow for walk-up window and hands-free payment and delivery, kind of like going to a very sophisticated bank. So big shout out to Mike and Dave and all the team at Turnstile. And of course, we are supporting our local businesses. We just ordered a five pound bag of the most delicious coffee beans on the planet. And I figured I'd have a little chat with you. So today I wanted to talk about the most effective training program while quarantined. We're all quarantined, right? I hope this doesn't affect the audio quality. It's a semi-beautiful day here in the beautiful beach town of Belmar, New Jersey. So what is the most effective exercise program? Well, if you're following us on YouTube, you know we have the 20-Minute Fitness Network. If you're following us on Facebook, you know we have Mike Dolce's in-home fitness workouts, all completely free. You guys feel free to jump on over to those. You also know we have the dolcediet.com where we have the four week and 12 week online diet and exercise program personalized 100% for you. If you're following any of those workouts, you know they're awesome. You know they're customizable. You know they can be performed anywhere at any time with any sort of resistance or none at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, Dolce, what's the best workout to do while on quarantine, while not being able to go to my gym? And I'm gonna tell you that. And it's gonna be different from what you might think. Now, a lot of other influencers and fitness experts and coaches and trainers and everybody else, they're putting out a ton of content right now, which is awesome. And I appreciate that. But a lot of that content is over a lot of people's heads. Really complex exercises and movements. And I understand these influencers, they're doing it because they want likes and they want engagement. And that's great. I'm not mad at that. They also want to do something different as compared to what everybody else is doing. And this is a slippery slope to the land of no gains, injury, and broken confidence. Because you see these super fit people performing these exercises that you just can't do. You haven't been training long enough at a high enough level to do the things that they're currently doing. So you don't do it and you can't do it and it hurts you. So what should you be doing for optimal, optimal, optimal gains during this quarantine. I'm gonna break down two very simple systems for you. The first system, you heard it before, we call LIS, low intensity, steady state, cardiovascular activity. This is simply walking. If you would please humor me and just start going on 30 to 60 minute walks, every day every day go for a 30 to 60 minute walk not a run not a jog not a row not a cycle not a swim just walk because when we walk at lower intensities for moderate to longer duration in the absence of insulin, which would be fasted, ideally first thing in the morning, we know there is a much greater preference for stubborn fat cells to be utilized for this aerobic activity. We want to stay away from the higher intensity glycolytic work, which will utilize stored carbohydrates but don't worry, we're going to get to that in a second. So we're trying to stimulate our body 
to tap into the fat stores, not the glycogen or carbohydrate stores. And we're trying to do it in a manner that allows our body the ability to tap into those very stubborn fat areas that we all deal with. The muffin top, the love handles, the donut, the fupa, the boob fat guys, the bra fat ladies, the saggy underarm, the saddlebags. All of those areas are very difficult to release that stored fat. And there is a litany of biochemical issues. I'm not gonna break those down because it'll bore you and you don't need to know it, but I know it. So you just simply need to consider what I'm telling you. The absence of insulin allows for a much greater release of these stored fat cells. If we can perform lower intensity exercise in the absence of insulin, the body will more preferentially utilize this stubborn body fat. So that's one, low intensity, steady state cardiovascular activity while fasted, ideally first thing in the morning once again. And guys, you can simply do this by walking out your front door. No equipment necessary. Walk out your front door, go 15 to 30 minutes in one direction, turn around and come home. Listen to a podcast, The Mike Dolce Show, of course. Listen to your favorite musician or an audiobook. I hear David Goggins' book is pretty awesome. Audio. Whatever it might be. Maybe just whistle while you work and talk to yourself. You'll see me talking to myself all the time. I'm technically talking to myself right now, by the way. So we have the low intensity, steady state cardiovascular activity. Now this is for the in-home workouts. Now later on in the day, at least four hours later, you wanna perform high intensity exercise, but you only need 20 to 40 minutes maximum. And I would suggest you start to look at the clock. And I would suggest you start to mimic your work rest ratios. What does that mean? That means I'm looking for a one-to-one -one of work to rest. What does that mean? Let's say I'm gonna perform 30 seconds of nonstop bodyweight squats. And I'm gonna have 30 seconds off. And then I'm gonna perform 30 seconds of nonstop push-ups and 30 seconds off. And 30 seconds of nonstop burpees and 30 seconds off and 30 seconds of nonstop V-ups and 30 seconds off and 30 seconds of nonstop planking and 30 seconds off and 30 seconds of nonstop walking lunges and 30 seconds off and 30 seconds of dead hang chin-ups and 30 seconds off and 30 th seconds of choose your poison. Pick three, five, 10 exercises and repeat them as many times as you can and I would start at 20 minutes. So if I pick 10 exercises, I perform each exercise once, all the way through, and then twice, and I'm done. Now, as we get more skilled, we can increase that to 45 seconds on, 45 off, 60 seconds on, 60 seconds off. And then, if you're really feeling froggy, you can maintain that one minute up of work and you can slowly start to drop your rest period. So now I'm going 30 on, 30 off, 30 on, 30 off, 45 on, 45 off, and then 60 on, 60 off. Now once I hit that 60 on, 60 off, I'm then going to go 60 on, 45 off, 60 on, 30 off, 60 on, 15 off, and then I'm just gonna go straight Exercise A to B to C to D to E. This here is a minimum of a six week scaled routine where you don't need anything. You will look amazing. You will look like a gymnast. You will look like a dancer. You will look like a fighter. You will have that type of sleek muscular physique. Now, 
If you have access to kettlebells or dumbbells or sandbags or med balls or barbells or backpacks filled with some books, if you have gallons of water around the house or the two and a half gallon little spout that you buy in the store for two bucks, three bucks, which two and a half gallons is, is almost 20 pounds. I think that's two and a half gallons, eight, eight, 16, another four, those are 20 pounds each. Well, now all of a sudden you have a ton of opportunity, a ton of options. Now we cover all this on our fitness networks. So YouTube again, we have Mike Dolce's in-home, no, Mike Dolce's in-home, uh, no, no, Mike Dolce's fitness, 20 minute, 20 minute fitness, sorry, 20 minute fitness on YouTube, apologies. And Facebook is Mike Dolce's in-home fitness workouts, all free, happy to be there, happy for you. Get in, work out with us, you understand it completely. Go ahead driving the beach right now. So that is a very easy, we have the low intensity steady state cardiovascular activity list, and then we have the high intensity resistance training, HURT. Right now, without proper weight, progressive overload doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, some of you, maybe you have a barbell, 135 pounds, 95 pounds, 65 pounds. That's fine. That's great. But most of us will be able to do a lot of reps. A lot of reps. So we need to find more functional means of exercise, more ways to increase intensity. A great way to increase intensity is to simply manipulate your rest period. And that's what we're talking here. So we have that list first thing in the morning. We're really attacking that stubborn body fat. We get a few good, clean quality meals in us. And then we're hitting the hurt training, the high intensity resistance training. And we're competing against the clock. When you do that, you are guaranteed progress, guaranteed results. You control this completely. These are the easiest two ways to work out when you are home. Now, look at the list below in the comment section. I have just a few of the many, many, many dozens of different exercises that you can consider. These are just a few I spit off off the top of my head. All body weight centric exercises that you can very easily add a little bit of resistance by holding a weight in your hand um, or two hands or holding it up to your chest or putting a backpack with some books on it all of these are amazing Add resistance safely but slowly don't be in a rush I would love to see each one of you perform 100 non-stop bodyweight squats 100 non-stop push-ups 100 non-stop v-ups 100 seconds of the perfect plank and 20 dead hang chin-ups before you even thought about adding any resistance. Now that's a great benchmark training system right there. And that is our novice scaling system. We train our novice athletes, our novice clients to be able to do that system. In our opinion, if you can't do that, you're still a novice. Now, I get some pro athletes that get a little irritated when I say that, and I say, well, do 100 nonstop bodyweight squats. And they look great for the first 20. And nearly every single one of them, by the time they hit 30, their face changes. They start sweating. They start taking breaks. They start counting in sets of three. 31, 32, 33. 34, 35, 36. Their form starts getting crappy. They start bucking forward, falling up over their toes. They're no longer hitting depth. And this isn't being critical. This just shows that there's lots of inherent weakness. So what about you? How do you do? And let's see, leave comments below. I would absolutely love to hear any of you who are taking part in this currently, if you've watched any of our previous content, or any of you who decide to move forward with a system like this. Tell me how you look, tell me how you feel. Now, if anybody wants something more structured, more personalized, simply go to thedolcediet.com. For a limited time, we are offering a 50% discount for all new members as our way 
to give back and help you during the current pandemic and economic crisis. We want to ensure every single person has access to world-class nutrition and exercise information. And you will get this at thedolcediet.com. Promo code HEALTHY for anyone who wants it. It's there. Also, we are giving everything away at a 50% discount on our other site, dolcedietshop.com. You can check that out also. So leave comments below. The more likes we get, the more comments we get, the more bonus features I'm going to unlock on this channel. And those bonus features will come in the form of never before heard behind the scenes videos of MMA. And this is insanity. So we are waiting for our first 1000 thumbs up and 500 comments on any video. And you will get a mind-blowing, mind-blowing video. Many of you know, the insiders know what that video will be. But for the purpose of this video, let's just see how it goes. I appreciate you guys. And until next time, boom.